Hello, what is up everyone? RL57 here, back with yet another diecast car video, and today we have the 1986 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock. Now, this is number 4 out of 10 from Hot Wheels Drag Strips, and let's see, number 107 out of 250. So, let's go ahead and open this up. I forgot to mention this is from the E case of 2023 as you can already tell this is obviously a pro stock car and uh, yeah uh, this kind of feels similar to that Matt and Debbie Hayes uh, for Thunderbird yes it kind of it kind of does like I don't know what Mattel did it's basically they scrapped the whole uh, Matt and Debbie Hayes car and basically build up a Thunderbird which is pro stock again or I just don't know but first things first I'm gonna say that this car is sadly underrated I, I don't know why every time I go to stores I would see this on shelves not being touched for such a while and never being bought at all like first things first this is a great car but sadly not many people like them i'm i have no idea why but of course this is not the matt and debbie hayes uh, for thunderbird obviously but still it's a thunderbird that's the only issue even though matt and debbie hayes car is a popular among the hot wheels uh, community as well as the uh, of course the Fort Thunderbird community of course but still uh, many people don't even care to see this casting not many people do and it doesn't deserve much love sadly so but this is still a nice car to me but mm, I don't know it's just crazy that not many people like them because this is actually a new casting to be honest this never released before it actually did just release it is 2022 Mattel so yeah it's sad to see that many people don't really like this car but I'm not sure I'm not entirely sure this is just in Malaysia but uh, I'm not sure when it comes to the United States and maybe uh, Australia or maybe Europe maybe the prices I mean the car will increase in stock and many maybe many people will want them hopefully it's still a nice car yet not many people like them very much even though it's more of like that pro street Thunderbird type of car it still is kind of cool to see it in mainline but yeah let's go ahead and check out this car so yeah, here it is, the Met, I mean, the Fort, the Fort Thunderbird, but yeah, overall it's kind of heavy as well, not, not that much heavy, but still, the whole body is metal as you can see, only the base, the interior, and the windshield is plastic, but yeah, let's see here, the side, starting from the back here, it says Hot Wheels right there, and then you have some tiny little stars which kind of look like a good detail right there as you can see even has on the door as well that part of the door it has the uh, what do you call that the stars right there colorful stars red and yellow pretty nice then you have this like brown brownish tan brown and tan uh, stripes right there moving to the front right there which is kind of cool uh, I can, couldn't read the sponsors. Hold on. Uh, oh, Fuji. Not entirely sure what. What is that? It says Fuji. I'm not sure what. Uh, what sponsor is that? Let me know down in the comments if you know. It says Fu uh, F U C C I. I'm not entirely sure, but still, yeah, pretty cool. And then this is HW Graphics, of course, at the front right here. Obviously, many cars have that Hot Wheels graphics for some reason. But yeah, still pretty nice. And then you have the Hot Wheels 
text at the bottom in white pretty nice detail right there and a few other uh, sponsors right there I'm not sure I see MWG I'm not sure if that's AWG or MWG it's pretty nice I'm not sure what's the bottom one but um, yeah pretty cool you have those uh, standard wheels the sort of like five spoke thick five spokes but um, yeah those are pretty standard at least they could have used other rims at least moving on to the front yeah it doesn't have headlights but still uh, not even grill detailing but um, yeah could have been better at least you have those like brown brown and tan uh, stripes again and then you have what is that what is that I'm not entirely sure. K K oils, yeah, K oils, right there on the hood, as you can see. Yeah, it, like the engine is peeking out from here. Actually, it, this is actually covered with this like transparent sort of like part right here in plastic, which is connected to this windshield part right here, and. Uh, like the engine is kind of peeking out as you can see right there i don't know why they covered it up but still if they weren't to cover up the engine right here you could kind of see the engine but sadly it's in that sort of like case but it's still fine i guess yeah you can see the interior is in chrome silver which is kind of cool pretty nice and then moving on to the back you don't have any rear lights but uh yeah, you have a bit of a lip spoiler right here kind of a bit and uh, i believe this is supposed to be a roll cage a mini one i guess i'm not sure but yeah let's move on to the base it's in dark sort of like this dark gray 2022 mattel for thunderbird pro stock made in malaysia but yeah this casting is not really that popular but yeah I hope it did actually I was expecting it to at least be like the uh, Matt and Debbie Hayes Pro Street Thunderbird but it didn't quite work out as well as I thought so like it ended up being hung on stores like nobody buys it surprisingly even though it's Quite a great car but not many people love it sadly but um, overall it's such a nice car to have in your collection basically it's not like the Matt and Debbie Hayes Pro Street Thunderbirds but still it is such a nice car overall it is quite a cool uh, Pro Street Pro Street car Pro Stock car but overall once again it's very nice and yeah there you go that's it for today's video once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See you in my other videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.